Let's preview week one of the Sun Belt and make some picks, shall we? It's locked on Sun Belt. You are locked on Sun Belt, your daily podcast on the Sun Belt Conference, part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day. All right, Dave Schultz, locked on Sun Belt, your team every day. Today's episode brought to you by Five Hour Energy. Five Hour Energy fixes tired fast. Zero sugar and a convenient portable size. It's the perfect pick me up for getting stuff done. Go to fivehourenergy.com and use promo code locked on CFB to receive 20% off your order, just like I did. This offer is only valid until September 30th and only once and cannot be used with other promotions. Go to fivehourenergy.com today. Should note, it's 15% off online. With Locked On CFB, you get five more percent off. So that's pretty good. All right. Uh, appreciate everybody who watched uh, the preview. We had some good response to that. I had a little bit of a typo, but uh, that was corrected. We'll see if we can do a little bit better job attracting more uh, viewers. But we're going to go down the the games, and we'll, we'll look at the favorites of the league, not necessarily – of the games, although that may be hand in hand today. Um, we'll make some picks along uh, the way uh, as it goes. Um, we probably won't. I was hoping to have a recap of Coastal Carolina and um, uh, ULM, and I apologize to ULM for not uh, previewing that game against Jackson State. Uh, on the East Coast now, these games start later, and I still get up early. So, Tough to do that. Uh, Coastal game started on time, but the ULM game uh, started closer to, I think, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, So David's going to be asleep when that final hits. Maybe we do something in the morning uh, as a little extra uh, segment, uh, if you will, recapping the game. I can tell you, Coastal Carolina is up big on Jacksonville State. We'll see if that lasts uh, as the second half is uh, winding down. But as we talked about throughout um, the preseason and the teams that I like, it's the quarterback and the coach. And Coastal Carolina, although he didn't start the season last year, he finished the season last year. Ethan Basco did get the starting nod. We haven't seen Noah Kim in the first half as much as what I've seen. And... Jacksonville State changed the quarterback after, I think, three possessions, two or three possessions. They went to the backup already. Uh, it was 31 to three at one point. Jacksonville State appears to be driving <laughs> at the end of the second half, but, uh, or at the end of the first half, I should say, end of the second quarter. Uh, but Jacksonville State just hasn't looked very good at all, has turned it over repeatedly, and Ethan Vasco. Uh, and company have made big plays. So same quarterback, same coach. That is just one thing you don't have to deal with. And you kind of have an idea. Uh, you kind of have an idea on how that's going to go. All right, so let's check out uh, some of the ball games. We'll start with uh, the two favorites. And obviously the lines are going to be huge week one. There are a couple of lines that I'm, I'm like, why is Georgia Tech like a 20-point favorite against Georgia State? And UK is like a 28 and a half point favorite against Southern Miss. Am I missing something there? Is Kentucky that much better than Georgia Tech, who just beat Florida State? I'm I'm missing something. I don't I don't, I don't know. Okay, uh, not a real road ish game for Georgia State. I understand that, but um, let's go through uh, some of the games. We got App State uh, taking on East Tennessee State, and this is one of those games where. You know, if you're App State, they're 34 and a half point favorites. You know, this is what I call a fourth quarter game, right? As far as I'm concerned, you know, if this is the kind of game and we are seeing some blowouts uh, on Thursday night, Arkansas, all over Arkansas City, Arkansas, uh, Pine Bluff, um, you don't want anybody playing the fourth quarter, all right? You want to get your backups. This is a backup game, all right, is what I, w- I would call it. We want to see Joy Aguilar get in there. Uh, play for two and a half, three quarters, right? I always like the third, you know, play in the second half because regardless of what we're doing, we're going to make adjustments, whatever they may be, at halftime and see if we can implement those adjustments. Plus, you want to be able to practice, if you will, coming out after halftime, 
and making sure everybody's on the same page and see how that goes as the big ball game is with Clemson uh, coming up uh, in week two. I don't think it's going to be much of a ball game. We'll take App State uh, with points. Uh, or, you know, I'll give the 34 and a half and, uh, and take the Mountaineers. Texas State has Lamar. They're 31 and a half point favorites. Tough to, you know, have a, again, a letdown game or a trap game <clears throat> in week one. <clears throat> we sort of did that. We asked last year if that could be the case with Tulane because they had a bigger, I think they had Ole Miss coming to town. Um, and they opened up with South Alabama and it didn't work out uh, that well for South Alabama. It worked out fine for Tulane. But Texas State has UTSA in week two. And then, you know, they're playing UTSA and Arizona State within like five days of each other. Um, that's a Thursday night ball game against Arizona State in San Marcos. So that's a thing. Um, again, really tough to have a trap game or a letdown game in week one or a look at a, a, a trap game, I guess it would be. It wouldn't be a letdown game. You haven't played yet. So that's going to be a little bit tough. Um, I would take Texas State again. I would presume they're going to, you know, try to light up the scoreboard as G.J. Kinney has said so many times, and they've done so often. Uh, so we'll take the Bobcats, 31 and a half versus Lamar. You got Arkansas State taking on Central Arkansas. Uh, that's only a 10-point spread for uh, the Red Wolves. And I think I read Butch Jones says, we are not taking Central Arkansas lightly. Good for them. Either are the odds makers. That's a, not a blowout game at all. This almost has like win and move on if you're Arkansas State. This may be an opportunity for Arkansas State to prove some of the naysayers, right? We kind of that over under for win totals is six and a half. And, uh, you know, people see them, but, you know, they haven't been what they were uh, under Coach Anderson for a minute or two. So uh, it's not that big of a point spread. We'll take Arkansas State minus the 10. Uh, the Cajuns versus uh, Grambling. K uh, they are, again, a huge favorite. 33 and a half point uh, spread. Cajuns didn't look all that great last year um, in their opening game. It took a little bit uh, to get going. And that's a, a big number. Again, I would think that, you know, you got a good shot with Ben Woldridge starting. Uh, you will get Chandler Fields uh, in there at some point in time. You'll be able to rotate the running backs, play a lot of players. That's kind of the idea when you're playing um, these FCS schools. And let me see here, 2023. Um, they played Northwestern State. They beat them 38-13, but that was a little bit closer of a game, if I seem to remember. Let's see if we get the box score here. Uh, so, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure this was – yeah, it was 21-6 at half. It wasn't quite the dominating performance that the Cajuns were hoping for. Uh, and so that's a 25-point spread against Northwestern State. This is 33-and-a-half. I'll take the Cajuns, but that would be one that I would probably stay away from. James Madison at Charlotte. JMU is eight-and-a-half-point favorites on the road. Uh, one of a handful of teams on the road to open up the uh, – to open up the Sun Belt season, to open up the season. Uh, Charlotte's got a lot of guys banged up. I don't think that line has moved all that much. I'm going to be big on James Madison in this one. I would have been big on James Madison anyway. Um, we're going to take the Dukes minus the eight and a half so far I'm betting. Well, I stayed away from the Cajuns of all teams because uh, I just think it's a big uh, point spread. Um, I'll take James Madison uh, minus the eight and a half. Uh, here's the upset. Here could be the potential upset. All right. Um, Georgia Southern against Boise State. We'll find out real quickly because Boise State's another one of those teams like Memphis, like Liberty, like Tulane. Outside of the Sun Belt, everyone's clamoring that they may be up for a, a playoff spot. Uh, this is that opportunity we've been talking about. Can Georgia Southern take down Boise State? You know, you want to win. There's obviously no moral victories in college football. But if Georgia Southern underdog by 13 points can stay with Boise State starting a new quarterback having a good defense cut down on those turnovers cut down on those mistakes we'll see what Boise State's going to handle if they're in a in a tough ball game uh in the deep south in the fourth quarter they haven't been in that situation they're always blowing the teams out 
<laughs> so, um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put a little bit on Georgia Southern, not that much. May do the money line just because it'll be really good odds. Give it be good odds. All right, let's take a time out. We will do the rest of uh, week one. Uh, I did um, I did take Coastal Carolina by mistake. <laughs> I bet on them last week because I was just going down the list on uh, on the app, and I accidentally, accidentally um, bet on them last week uh, to, to uh, cover. They were, Coastal Carolina is a two-and-a-half point underdog. I also took them to win. Uh, they're plus 154. So looking okay, but a long way to go. All right, let's take a timeout. When we come back, we'll do the rest of the ball games. Continue to make our picks. I will keep track of my picks. I have not done a good job of that. We will see where we are. Um, I don't think I had all that great a season last year, but we'll see um, where we are. The picks that I make may be different than the money that I'm putting them on. Let's just put it that way. I will I will keep tabs of that. I'll show you which ones I um, I do put the money on uh, versus the picks that I make. I probably do better with the picks that I don't put the money on. <laughs> Let's take a time out. We will uh, continue our picks right after I tell you about Factor and eBay Motors. Fuel up with factors, no prep, no mess meals. Meet your wellness goals thanks to a menu of chef-crafted meals with options like Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Factors fresh, never frozen meals are dietitian approved and ready to eat in just two minutes. So no matter how busy you are, you always have the time to enjoy nutritious, great-tasting meals. Make today the day you kickstart your new healthy routine. What are you waiting for? With 35 different meals and more than 60 add-ons to choose from, every week you'll always have new flavors to explore. Crush your wellness goals as the summer is winding down with dietitian approved meals and ingredients that you can trust. Make your day delicious from breakfast to dessert. Stay fueled with easy, nutritious options. Treat yourself to restaurant quality meals that feature premium ingredients like filet mignon, shrimp, and blackened salmon. Keep kitchen time to a minimum. Factor meals are ready in two minutes. No shopping, prepping, cooking, or cleaning up. Enjoy effortless support for your lifestyle. Choose from six preferences to help you manage calories, minimize protein intake, and avoid meat, or simply eat a well-balanced diet. Head to Factors Meal, excuse me, head to factormeals.com slash college 50 and use code college 50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code college 50 at factormeals.com slash college 50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month while your subscription is active. And eBay Motors. Passion, drive, and patience. The formula for winning championships is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors is everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. Superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has you covered. With over 122 million parts for your ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to make your car the MVP and bring home huge wins. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. eBay guaranteed fit. Only available to U.S. customers. All right, Dave Schultz, Locked On Sunbelt, your team every day. We're previewing week one and doing our picks At the same time, again, really, I stayed away from the Cajuns because it was a big line. (laughs) The only one I did. Uh, All right, let's check out the rest that we have here. ODU at South Carolina. I actually picked ODU uh, to cover. I got South Carolina winning this ball game uh, uh, 31-17. Again, just odd that, again, it may be the specific teams. You would think that South Carolina at home would be a slightly bigger, and I guess maybe this slightly bigger favorite than Georgia State at Georgia Tech, right? 
I don't know. And they're only a half a point difference. I, it's crazy. I don't understand that uh, at all. Uh, I do think ODU will jump on South Carolina, and I think South Carolina will make the adjustments. Obviously, it's a tough place to play in Columbia, um, but the people on the field could shock South Carolina. I think they'll make the adjustments uh, eventually. Um, this is an odd line. I'd probably stay away from this one uh, as well. Marshall is 30 and a half points ahead of Stony Brook. We don't know what we're going to get with Marshall. We're doing air raid. We're opening up the offense. It's not, you know, three yards and a cloud of dust. It's not ball control. We're going to put up the points. So the odds makers are hoping that they do, I guess. <laughs> uh, I think Marshall's going to cruise. I think Marshall's going to win. But, you know, if it's, you know, you got to win like 45 to 10, <laughs> something along those lines, right? Uh, that's covering. And I'm not sure Marshall's going to do that. Well, I just haven't seen it yet. So I'm, I'm holding off on that. That's a big line for something that we're not really sure of. This is an intriguing ball game. Uh, South Alabama five and a half versus North Texas. Um, South Alabama at home. Gio Lopez, it's his team. Uh, Major Applewhite, you know, taking over for Kane Womack. Uh, everybody's got a lot to prove. All right. Uh, Major's getting his second chance at head coaching. Gio's getting his first chance at really being the starting quarterback. I'm very intrigued which is a big word on a Thursday night. If South Alabama um, can win at home against uh, North Texas. Remember, South Alabama had, well, for lack of a better word, crappy season last year. It did end up on a high note, although following the game, one of the opponents punched one of the Jaguars in the helmet, which isn't all that bright. but. Um, you know, Desmond uh, Trotter, who's back with the team in a uh, kind of a PR uh, way. And uh, and Gio Lopez played really well. So the last time we saw them on the field, they played well at home, winning the uh, the Mobile. Uh, you got Troy taking on Nevada. Troy is a nine-point favorite. Nevada actually played pretty well against SMU, or maybe SMU didn't play well in one or the other. Um Nevada was like a 27 and a half point underdog. I know that because I took SMU and lost. Uh, it's not that many points at home. I'll go with Troy. I picked Troy to finish, what, sixth? I'll still take Troy in this one. Uh, they'll probably beat Nevada. Um, it'd be interesting to see if they beat them worse than SMU. Uh, Southern Miss is at Kentucky. I will be at that game. At least that's the plan. Um, I think I'm the only Southern Miss media in attendance. So Will Hall is going to have to answer questions from me. <laughs> He's going to love that. Um, let's see what Tate Rodermaker can do, right? Uh, Southern Miss and Will Hall have been known to, you know, compete with some tougher uh, competition. Uh, let's see if the defense can be where it was. Um, you know, see, here's the one. I just don't get the 28 point spread. I just, I don't quite get that. It seems like a lot. It seems like a lot. I'll take Southern Miss. May not be all that big of a bet on that. That just seems like a lot when maybe we're not exactly sure what we're getting with Kentucky. Um, and then uh, Georgia State has, you know, is a 20 and a half point underdog to go cross town uh, to take on Georgia Tech. Uh, I mean, this has, again, this one has let down written all over it, right? You are taking on your baby brother. You just beat the big bad Seminoles. No way Georgia State can beat you. You're at home. Again, Georgia State lives in the same city. Uh, so it does have letdown written all over it. And I'm sure Georgia Tech has, you know, addressed all that. Let's not have a letdown. Sometimes you talk about it too much and you can have that letdown. Um, I'd love to see Georgia State give him a ball game. I really would. We'll see if Georgia State can run the football. They're going to have to be able to run the football, right? Georgia Tech did a great job of shutting down Florida State's uh, offense. They had like 30 yards, 35 yards of rushing, most of that on the touchdown run, I think, on the first possession. They only ended up with like 97. So Georgia State's going to have to be able to run the football. If they can't run the football, they may get run out of the building. Um, you know, can Georgia State put up 10 points? Then all of a sudden, Georgia Tech's got to score 30, basically. So if Georgia State can score two touchdowns, they'll cover the game. Certainly not picking Georgia State to win, but 
maybe put a little bit on them to, to see if they cover. Cause that's the point of just being right. <laughs> like it's not that big of a deal. If I put a little bit on them and they lose no big deal, but then I can come back on here if they win or cover. And I say, told you so <laughs> see how that works. Uh, all right, let's take one more time out. Uh, we'll recap the picks looking forward to a great season. We will do that when uh, we come back after I tell you about five hour energy. All right, well, I went and did it. Uh, again, tired, on my feet all day long, just a different position. I wouldn't say it's strenuous. I'm just standing up all day long compared to used to sitting all day long and either on the radio or making phone calls or on the computer. Here I am on my feet all day long, and I need a pick-me-up. And I had it today after I did not – or I had it yesterday after I did not have it on um, Wednesday – and it came in a big way for me. And before this episode of the show, I went and ordered it on Five Hour Energy because I'm going to need it. I'm going to use it. And I'm looking forward to having it and not racing in to the convenience store on my way to work when I'm probably already late. With zero sugar and a convenient portable size, it's the perfect pick me up for getting stuff done. The Five Hour Energy website has flavors galore like watermelon, tropical burst, that's what I bought, grape, berry, and more, there's a flavor for everyone. Try them all. On the site, you'll even have the option to build your own 12-pack or 24-pack. You choose the flavors, and it's delivered right to your door. I got the 24-pack. If you go to 5hourenergy.com, and that is the number 5, H-O-U-R, energy.com, and get some 5-Hour Energy product today. You can use my promo code, which I used. It worked. Locked on CFB to receive 20% off your order. Now, this offer is only valid to the 30th, and it is only on the first order. It's only one time. That's why I got the 24-pack. Can't be used with any other promotions. As I mentioned at the beginning, 15% online. We're giving you 20% uh, percent off with Locked On CFB. Uh, the code is not good on subscription orders. Go to 5hourenergy.com today. I will let you know when my shipment comes in. All right, Dave Schultz, locked on Sunbelt, your team uh, every day. Didn't quite get to the 1,500. We got to 1,400. That's pretty good. All right, it's about 100 a month. We kind of need like 25. We do like 25 subscriptions a week. We kind of need to do 50. Maybe we'll get some more subscribers uh, as, as the season goes on. But I do appreciate you guys. I, I, I really do. And I think we're getting more and more feedback. Um as more people are starting to pick up on it, uh, the audio portion of the show is actually doing really well uh, as well. So I appreciate that. I can see those numbers seem to be climbing a little bit more than the uh, than the video numbers per se. But video numbers are still doing better. And now that we actually have a season to talk about, uh, we'll have plenty to uh, discuss. Um, we'll see if I get up in the morning and do another emergency segment i wouldn't say supersedes this one but you know recaps the coastal ball game and the uh jackson state ball game let's see we can get uh let's see what coastal so jacksonville state by the way did score at the end of the half that's a big that could be a big score instead of going into half 31 up uh 31 to 3 coastal is up 31 to 10 and think coastal is getting the ball first um let me see here uh no jacksonville state is getting the ball first all right jacksonville state is getting the ball first jacksonville state just had their best drive of the game uh nine plays 75 yards uh took them two minutes and one second because that's all all they had left so we'll see if that gets jacksonville state going again if you're coastal carolina you need a couple of stops but you got to keep on scoring Right. It's gonna tough for gonna be tough for Jacksonville State. Can they get to 31? You bet. Are they gonna get to 45? That seems a little bit more daunting. But we'll see. Jacksonville State goes very fast. The problem with that is if you're going fast and you're not doing well, then the defense is tired. So let's see if they get the, you know, the uh make it take it uh deal. You go from 31 to 3 to 31 17, and you got yourself a ball game. All right. It, it can change very quickly, and then all of a sudden, you know, you're 28 point lead is down to 14 and you haven't had the ball yet. Uh, 
uh, since that time. So we'll see what happens there. I can give you an update, I guess, on uh, ULM. That was under a, a lightning delay. And I'm going to guess it's started by now. Let's see what we got here. And this is against um, this is against Jackson State. They kind of have to win this ball game. They are tied 7-7. Monroe got off to a... Um, Monroe got off to a 7-0 lead. Jackson State scored in uh, the second quarter. There's not anything on um, ESPN.com. It appears that uh, Monroe or uh, Jackson State just did score with about 10.51 to go in uh, the first half. So, again, that's a big ball game for uh, ULM. They do not have many wins on their Schedule, they are about a nine and a half point favorite to win that ball game. They have to come up big uh, to win that one and give themselves a shot. They get UAB next week. And then, again, it gets really dicey uh, after that. It is not an easy schedule. Uh, we'll see who pulls off the upset, who can make their mark, you know, who gets tripped up right now. Again, Coastal looks uh, pretty good. They were underdogs going on the road. That would be a nice win uh, for the Sun Belt heading into week one. ULM getting a win over Jacksonville State would be nice. Um, you know, can Georgia Southern do anything against Boise State? ODU against uh, South Carolina. I think those are the big ones. And Georgia State against Georgia Tech. You know, does Marshall look sloppy against Stony Brook or does the air raid offense uh, work? How does Arkansas State try to be, you know, the hunted instead of the hunter, right? And then how do the uh, favorites react? Texas State. And App State are both more than 31 point or 30 point favorites. In fact, more than 31 point favorites, as it turns out. Texas State 31 and a half, App State 34 and a half. You know, how do they uh, react? You have, um, you know, the new coaches with, uh, you know, Bob Chesney at James Madison, um, South Alabama's major Applewhite, although not quite as new as he has been there. And of course, Jared Parker with Troy and Del McGee at Georgia State. We'll see how all that uh, works out. We will have a full uh, recap on uh, Monday. So enjoy the weekend. It is week one of college football. We made it. Also, I'm not in a big hurry to get through college football. We always hear how many weeks left and everything like that. We're going to blink and it's going to be Halloween and we're going to be like, where to go? Just sit back and relax uh, and, and enjoy it. You know, we have three months of Never ending college football, probably more than that. The way the playoff is going to be now, uh, probably four and a half months with it. So, um, just looking forward to having a great season and seeing if the Sun Belt can step up a little bit and, and become a national story. All right, everyone, have a great, safe weekend. Enjoy the first weekend, first full weekend of college football. Uh, I'm your host, Dave Schultz. Uh, you've been listening and watching Locked On Sun Belt, your team every day. Have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you again on Monday.